Her family said saving teen lives is a community effort. It turns out DeAsia was recently enrolled in a tough love program for young people. Chase Bachman continues our team coverage tonight. Chase. Well, Mel Jeff, as you said, I talked with the local activist and despite his efforts to help, he is also mourning DeAsia's death tonight. The death of 15-year-old DeAsia Green has community activists like Sean Mahone Sr. preaching accountability. The reason why a lot of the violence is taking place with our youth because there is no accountability. And unfortunately, the parents have to suffer behind that. Mahone uses boot camp programs to help the kids who he says make unhealthy choices in life. He says there needs to be a buy-in by the parents and the kids. He says Green was an alum of one of his programs less than a year ago and says it hurt seeing her as a victim of homicide. And that mother has tried to do everything possible to save her child's life. Um, unfortunately, her child will run away all the time um, and, and the police will just bring her back home. Mahone says the city needs to hear from community members about the problems they face. There needs to be a community wide conversation. That means bringing parents to a, a facility uh, where we can hash these problems out. And the city is trying to make those conversations a regular event. The city's Youth Services Division is hosting a listening series where Toledo kids can discuss how to become fulfilled adults. We really um, need to listen to youth. We need to gather their input on what it is they think um, is the best type of services for them. Chase, it was our understanding that the city was supposed to hold one of these meetings tonight at the Birmingham Library. Did that one happen? Well, Jeff, this is the problem they're running into. They actually had five kids at the meeting last night, and tonight they didn't have any kids. A lack of participation forced them to cancel the meeting tonight. They're hoping to have another one later this month at the East Toledo Family Center, and they're hoping to attract a larger group to have a more productive meeting. Reporting live in East Toledo, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.